Excellency Dr. Sprout to be to have already covered the third Akbar at 32. So much damage, and uh, we, the vulnerable state. Well, we've uh, we've led in the loss and damage uh, project agenda is one which is very important and amongst the small island states we are definitely pushing for that because we have we have two main uh, items one is the mvi the multi vulnerability index and loss and damage so we have to protect the the, the oceans and now we are realizing instead of turning our backs to the ocean we are now going to the ocean protecting the ocean and uh, and uh, earlier, I announced that, uh, for example, the Seychelles next year will be protecting the, sea, uh, the mangrove uh, forest and the seagrass meadows at 100%. And what does that mean? It means blue carbon. It means cleansing the, cleansing, uh, the world, the, cleansing it from, from all the CO2 that is being produced. And of course, once you protect the mangroves, because that's where this is a, a natural nursery for the fish and other species. Of the uh, excess heat caused by climate change, we will be announcing that uh, as far as we are already. But the question of whether the adaptation is relevant or necessary has long gone past. We are racing against time now. We've got to make sure that we adapt. And part of the adaptation is going to be how we develop our economies to be able to sustain the momentum of growth. Part of the adaptation is going to be how we invest in our young people to make sure that they acquire the right skills and education to be competitive uh, in the world. And part of adaptation is to measure the levels of temperature, the, the levels of uh, impact on adverse uh, uh, weather patterns on our agriculture, our food systems and our infrastructure.